Hey everybody, thanks for joining me back here on the Greedery YouTube channel. Today I'm featuring some new products that were coming out as part of our 2021 holiday collection. This suite of products is called Christmas Time and it features this fun hourglass die and insert die and some scene creating dies. And so I'm going to show you two different ways to use this product suite to create shaker cards. So the first version of a shaker we're going to create is something like this. So it's a full um, regular A2 card and the shaker element is just kind of inset into the card. It's cut out of the front and just nice and clean on the inside and outside and a little bit simpler to do than the other version. So we're going to do something similar, but we're going to create a different scene inside. I'm going to use the little house from the Christmas time in the country die set. This uses the little stable nativity scene from the Christmas time in the country to create a nativity scene, but we're going to do something similar, but with the, just a little bit different scene inside. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have kind of all my parts and pieces ready to go here. I have an A2 panel of black cardstock. I have a die cut, an hour, hourglass frame using the new hourglass frame die. And I cut this from kind of a metallic gold cardstock. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adhere this hourglass frame to our panel of black cardstock. There's no real top or bottom. It's, it's symmetrical. Um, all the way around. So we're just going to go ahead and adhere that and center that left to right and top to bottom on our panel. Then I'm going to take, this is the hourglass insert die. So this is a two piece die set that has an inner and outer part to the hourglass shape. So I'm going to be, I have mine snipped apart already. Yours will come wired together. I have already snipped mine apart and I'm going to take the smaller of the two. So this is the inner cut line from the hourglass insert. And I'm going to position that right inside of that frame that we just glued onto there. And I'm going to secure that with just a little bit of tape to hold it in place. So I can go ahead and die cut that. Okay, so I die cut that out of there and now you can see we have kind of hourglass shape cut from that panel. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take an A2 card base and I am going to lay my panel over the top of my base. And then I'm going to take a pencil and draw myself a guideline. So I'm just gonna trace the inner line of that hourglass. So this is going to be my guide for where I'm going to build my scene. So I'm going to go ahead and put that all together. I'm going to start by sponging some ink onto the background using some tumbled glass oxide ink and just a blending brush to add some blue, to, icy blue to the sky. I'm going to pull out my Christmas time in the country stamp set and add a few stamped snowflakes. Now I'm going to assemble my scene using my Christmas time in the country die cuts. I have already treated my die cuts with an adhesive sheet so they're sticky on the back. I applied that to my cardstock before die cutting. So I can just go ahead and peel off the backing and build my scene inside my hourglass outline. So now my scene is finished and now we can go ahead and work on enclosing that into a shaker. So we're going to go back to our panel that we created with an, our hourglass frame and I have a piece of acetate which is of slightly smaller than my A2 panel. It's four inches by five and a quarter. So I'm going to adhere that to the back side of our panel. It all gets covered up, so no need to worry too much about how that looks. And now we're going to take some foam tape. I just have some 3M foam tape on a roll and we're going to add that all the way around our hourglass. And we're not gonna to try to fit it to the shape of the hourglass frame, we're just gonna create a rectangle. So I'm gonna start and make sure that, I'm gonna lay a panel under here just so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna make sure that I have a width that is just slightly wider than the hourglass itself. So 
just kind of loosely measure that out. And then we don't need this whole strip, so I'm going to just cut it in half and we can use it at both the top and the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to cut a second strip that is long enough for the long side of the hourglass. Now you want to make sure that you get it the full width. You don't want any gaps or your shaker is going to leak. So make sure that you have it all nicely closed up. I'm going to cut this one in half as well. And we're fitting nice and tight there so we won't have any leaking of our glitter. And then just enclose this side as well. And then I'm going to add just a couple more small pieces to this area right here just to kind of support this uh, center panel right here so it doesn't sink down in the center. So those will just kind of act as a support. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my shaker elements. I have some sequins here. Snow These are from our Snowfall sequin mix that we are also offering in the shop. And so I'll just sprinkle a few of those. You don't want to overfill your shaker or your little pieces aren't going to move around. So I'm just going to add a few of those and then also a little bit of white glitter. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull off the liner for our foam tape and we'll just put the panel right over the top. So we have all the liner off of our foam and our glitter is right inside of there. So now we're just going to take this panel and put it over the top, making sure that our hourglass opening is lined up with our pencil marks. And then you want to make really sure that you get that all sealed up and closed really nice and tight or, you, or your glitter is going to fall out. So I'm going to just press it nicely so it's nice and tight. And then we can go ahead and give it a shake. And we can finish it off with a sentiment. Our Christmas time suite of products also includes a small sentiment set. These are all kind of time themed Christmas sentiments. This one says happy Christmas time to you and yours and that fits just perfectly across the front of our hourglass. So now let's move on and create our second version. This is the shaped version, a shaped shaker card. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put this one together. So for this one, I'm going to start with a panel of cardstock that I have folded. This is slightly smaller than an A2. I think it's a four inch wide panel. And what I'm going to do, it's folded already. I'm going to take the larger hourglass. So the outer cut, so we have the inner and outer. I wanna take the outer cut and I am going to position that so that the top edge of that die is extended just beyond the fold. So it's not gonna cut through that fold. And so we're just gonna run it through that way and create our shaped base. Okay, so once you have that die cut, you're gonna end up with this. It's basically a shaped folded card base. And so you wanna go ahead and create your scene on this base, which I have done already. I used the Christmas time in the city stamp set to create this fun city scene. And then I glittered it up with some stickles and all sorts of sparkle and shine going on. So once you have your scene finished and you're all happy with that, the next step is to create the shaker element. So you need something to give you a little bit of depth so you have room for those sequins or glitter or whatever you're putting in your shaker to shake around. So we're going to be die cutting using both the inner and outer hourglass insert pieces. So you die cut them together to create this hourglass shaped frame couple different ways you can do this. You can cut it from foam or you can just cut several layers from cardstock and glue them all together. That's kind of the method I prefer. I don't have a lot of luck using the foam. Sometimes it just gets kind of misshapen. It's a little bit difficult to work with. I have an easier time just gluing several of those together, which I have done here. You can see it's a little bit thicker. I have, I think, four of them glued together. So 
um, whatever depth you think you need. If you're using die cuts to build your scene, you might need a couple extra layers just to allow for the die cut thickness of your scene so that your sequins and, and glitter aren't getting caught up in there. And then cut one extra that you can use for a topper. And then you also need a solid piece of acetate cut using the larger of the two hourglass insert pieces. So that will cover your shaker. All right, so then we can go ahead and assemble it. I'm gonna take my thick piece, which I have four of those glued together, and I'm just going to glue that to my scene. You wanna make sure you get adhesive all the way around so your shaker doesn't leak. And there you can see we have a nice deep pocket which we can fill with sequins and glitter. Now for the topper, I'm going to take that extra frame that I die cut and I'm gonna glue that to my acetate. And then I'm going to put adhesive around my shaker frame here. Once again, making sure I have adhesive all the way around so nothing is seeping out. Okay, and before I add my topper, and close that up. I'm going to fill it with sequins and glitter. I have some of the snowfall sequin mix that we have in the shop. And then I also again use some, just a little bit of fine glitter. Then we can go ahead and add our top to close that all up. So there, our shaker element is complete. Uh, one thing about the stamps, if you use stamps inside is a little bit nicer, is that your glitter and your sequins do move a little more freely through there, rather than if you use the die cuts to build your scene, they can kind of get caught on there. But if you use the stamps, everything can move nicely, nice and freely through there. So now we're gonna finish that off by adding the hourglass frame portion. I have die cut two of these just so it looks nice all the way around front and back and I'm going to glue those two together. And to add it to our shaped hourglass insert, I'm just going to add some adhesive to the top and bottom, these flat sides of the hourglass. And then just layer that right over the top and center that inside of there. And there we have this super cute shaped hourglass card. We can finish it off with one of the banners from the Christmas time sentiment set strung across the front of there as well. So before I go, I have one quick and easy and super fun bonus project for you. So when I got done cutting all of the hourglass frames for the shaker element, I was left with all of the insides from the hourglass frame. So I have this whole pile of these and I thought, you know, something has to be done with those. Those cannot get dumped. So what can I do? And I decided to turn it into a bow. So this is super quick and fun and basically just uses your leftovers. So what I did was I pulled out a couple of banners. This is a banner die that's included with our crimped slimline die. And I die cut those from cardstock as well. And then I just went ahead and layered three of the hourglass inserts. And you can even add some dimension to those by like giving those a little bit of a curl. And then just add, layer all three of those together with a little bit of adhesive right in the center. And then go ahead and take those two banners. I'm gonna start with the narrower one and I'm going to just wrap that around the center of my bow. So I'm gonna start on the back side with the tail and just wrap that around and bring it to the back and trim off that little bit of excess. And then to add the tails, I'm going to just cut this longer banner right in half. And I'm going to adhere to the back side. I cut it in half because I wanted the tails to be just a little bit longer than how they were when it was left as a single piece. So I'm going to put those just slightly off to the side like that. So I'm left with some tails that are visible from the front. 
Then I just took mine and I embellished it with some of the pine boughs. I used uh, our Botanicuts pine, which was released a couple years ago, and then also some of the new pine wisp sprigs, and added a speed tagging die. So it's just a super fun package topper that basically super easy to put together and uses my scraps. Well, thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this look at some of the new products coming to the shop as part of our 2021 holiday collection. These new Christmas time products will be up in the shop beginning at 10 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday, October 7. Thanks again for joining me and we'll see you soon.